Hallelujah! How's it going, guys? My name is Blessius, and welcome into Destiny 2. Now, a lot of guardians, you could say, have been kind of like uh, even hoeing in the Destiny community. The Go Fast update, we can all agree it was a step in the right direction, but a lot of people say it's not enough to make it that game that they once loved. And I have to say that the Nightfall thing, the first week was awesome for the sniper grind. I don't know how much I want to grind for a ghost shell personally, but that is just me. So I figured we would go in here and I want to just talk about like what I think the future about Destiny 2 is. It's nothing grim, it's actually kind of positive. Um, Let's go in and fart up some nice crucible as we go. You know what, let's just do some mayhem. Let's go and freaking do it, dude. So the first thing that I'm going to actually say is it took Bungie a while, but they seem to actually try to be transparent. It's probably the one thing that they always lack the most of, but if you check the Bungie.net, this week at Bungie blog, they talk about time to kill increase. They're talking about special primary and heavy returning. They're talking about a vigilance wing being possibly toned down, and it, it's just a way more communication than I've seen in a long time from Bungie, which is good because they're listening to the community. And, and the other thing that's your... insanely cool oh, is that they are hosting a community summit. Uh, they invited a bunch of content creators that you probably know, ranging from podcast hosts all the way up to people that need to be there, like I think, like Datto. Um, a lot of PvP gods are going, and um, even though I didn't get an invite, because one thing, I think people like Gathalion and Broman, freaking Triple Wreck are way more deserving of that invite than me, man. I don't know what feedback I would give them besides, yo, man, that's pretty cool. Freaking Nova Bomb. No, but in all seriousness, if I even if I did get that, I would try to get the best feedback I can. But there's way more qualified people out there, and I, I think that's cool that they're finally starting to uh, try to listen to uh, the community because it seemed like prior to um, D2's release, it was more like, hey. We know what was in the secret sauce, and we're gonna do it again. And it was a gamble, and it seemed like a lot of people didn't like what was in the secret sauce for Destiny 2 a couple months in. Don't get me wrong. When Destiny 2 first came out, I was, I, I dug it. I, I, I was grinding for everything, and I enjoyed it, but it was until like, okay, the first time I did the raid. Okay, I did the 15 hour raid, and then I'm like, wait, I have everything. Okay. <laughs> you know, okay. I got the the freaking rocket launcher of all rocket launchers. Okay, I'm good. The only thing to grind for was the shotgun for um, Legend of Acarus. And then my first trials thing, um, I went- Oh! God! Jeez! I went and I, I did trials on three characters back to back to back. Got them all flawless. And with the token system, my hunter was- had all of the uh, armor and a crap ton of all the weapons. Oh, jeez, Louise! Holy crap! Holy man! This is a little insane, dude. There we go. Okay, that was just bad. This is not my best game, but at the same time, dude, it's also mindless fun with inside of this too. Um, so I know that's where like I was kind of I felt like the burnout because I'm like oh dang well There's nothing to really grind for after that. Yeah, there was like seasons as stuff that you can go in you know farm and Caves for uh, what was it faction wars faction rallies that was kind of cool, but besides that uh, There was nothing really to grind for and I'm glad that they're at least coming back Giving us a little taste of strike specific loot. Oh, thank God I killed him. I, I look, I want more than just um, snipers and ghosts. I, I hope that, you know, each thing has something a little grindage for it. I wouldn't mind if there was more, you know, strike specific loot than just m more than one thing. I think that, like, I don't think anyone would grind or complain about a grind for more content. And uh, I know that random rolls is a thing that's, you know, being talked about coming back and. I think that's freaking awesome, but a lot of people say, is that, is that, um, lazy game design? I don't know. All I know is it worked in Destiny 1, and I think that was part of, like, 
what was missing in the secret sauce. I mean, I, there's that thing that uh, Luke Smith, the game director of Destiny 2, said in an article before Destiny 2 came out, uh, asking, hey, what makes that second, third, fifth? Did I skip fourth? <laughs> Better Devils different than the last. And it's certainly not a mod system, and it's certainly not you know, you being able to slap a shader on it. it. There needs to be something to make it a little bit special. And I'm really... Gosh dang, this guy's Nova Bombs! Freaking Kobe over here. He's just tossing, 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 and tossing. Um, there's just something that I think that is special about grinding for that weapon. Um, in Destiny 1, um, there was a weapon called Saladin's Vigil, and I grinded my butt off for it in Archon's Forge during the Rise of Iron campaign. And doing so, I grinded like 300 Archon Forges, and I finally got the God Roll, and it was amazing. In Destiny 1, um, in the House of Wolves expansion, there was a uh, pulse rifle called Hopscotch Pilgrim, and it could be the best freaking pulse rifle if you just... One, one, I did like 49 strikes back to back to back to get it. It wasn't strike specific, it just dropped if you're doing the strike playlist, which I think needs to be a thing again, like strike playlist loot, let alone strike specific loot. And then you just spend all your motes of lights trying to re-roll it. I don't know if I want a re-roll system like that. I know a lot of people, you know, could re-roll that shotgun from Iron Banner. Oh, I forget the name of it. Fell winners lie. Yeah, you could, like, in Destiny 1, you could reroll that thing, to, so it would be Felwinter's Sniper, basically. I don't know if I want a reroll thing. All I know is, I think that having some roll function could be a lot of fun in, in the game. So, I hope the content creators and the community members that go um, to the com uh, community summit at Bungie knock them dead. I hope they give them... Every, I, I hope that they say, I like this, I don't like this, blank, blank. I hope they just lay it all out. And you know what? I, I'm really happy for the guys that get to go because they're deserving. And the, I, I just think it's a cool ass opportunity for Bungie to actually listen to the community because it's something that Bungie hasn't done in a, in, in a long time in my eyes. So community, knock Bungie's socks off. Don't you... Give them anything but the honesty because we're all counting on you guardians. Seriously, seriously. Like you have a direct say in the future of Destiny and that's the coolest thing ever because I don't know when that was ever a possibility before. So I know a lot of people say like, oh, it's just community people going. A lot of the thing is, is they're gonna be listening to your feedback, it, your comments in the section. Uh, your comments in the section, your comments that you leave in their comment section, in their Twitch feeds, in their DMs, in their whatever, like that goes into account. And so the people that they did go, get to go, uh, I, I think they're more than deserving members of the community that will listen to you and punch Bungie right in the ear with all of that fact and knowledge of what they do and don't like. Anyway, that is what I'm gonna say. I think the future of Destiny is bright. Also, my one thing is if they're testing that, I believe uh, the dates for them to go out is like end of April. I think that they are actually going to be rolling out some stuff season three. What if we do get primary, special, and heavy back season three? Expansion 2. I, I'm not saying it's impossible, but maybe maybe Bungie stepped up. Maybe Bungie stepped up. Maybe I'm gonna eat those words, but who knows? If they're flying these people out that a lot of people like kind of gave up on Destiny, uh, I, I think that that's they're trying to make a risk. Like, hey, here we go. How is it? And hopefully they're doing it so that they know that those people, their socks are blown off and they'll want to play that game. That's my theory, and I'm sticking frickin' to it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking through this random video. Nothing was scripted. I just want to get that off my chest. Until next time, guys. Kawa! Bunga.